Hi everyone, this is a solution recording for our practice paper P4 SA2 2019 paper section C some of the word problems. This is question number 41. Right, okay, let's go about reading this question following our strategy of raise, read, annotate, choose and evaluate. Okay, question number 41. A rope that is 24.6 meters long is cut into two pieces. Oops, sorry, just erase the markings. Let's do this again. A longer piece is three times as long as the shorter piece. Find the length of the longer piece. Give your answer to the nearest meter. Right, okay, it doesn't seem like a very long question, four sentences. Let's do the reading again. This time, as usual, I will annotate, circle, underline, draw arrows, connecting some of the key words of the question. Okay. There's this rope, a rope, okay, you can think about it, I'm having this rope, let's say I'll use my, there's this rope, okay, and this rope is actually 24.9, 24.6 meters, sorry, 24.6 meters long, and I'm getting this rope to cut it into two pieces, there's one piece that's longer and there's one piece that's shorter, and I can make it more obvious, there's one piece that's longer and there's one piece that's shorter, and then after that you have as a bit of a comparison. So that's what the first sentence it means. I have a rope that is 24.6 meters long and I'm cutting it into two pieces. There's a longer piece and the longer piece is actually three times as long as the shorter piece. Okay, as the shorter piece. So that's the comparison. And finally, the questions ask for find the length of the longer piece and there's a rounding to do. Give your answer to the nearest meter. Okay, so I'm doing going to do my little uh, annotation box here. This looks like a question of comparison. There's a comparison to do and there's a bit of a part hole. That reminds me of the strategy that I shared with my uh, shared, I shared with everyone previously. Bigger, bigger number, smaller number, sum and difference. So this is more of the little annotation box. Okay, forgive me for my handwriting. A bit. Okay, let me just write this nicely. Okay. There's a bigger number, there's a smaller number, and in the question like this, you can reduce the identities that's asked, being asked in the question into these four main things. There's a bigger number, in this case we know that it's a longer piece, a longer piece. And then, and then for the smaller number, in this case you can call it a shorter piece. And then sum and difference. So you know that the relationship is the longer is three times of the shorter. Okay. And then you need to find the longer because that's the, what the question is asking you for, the longer piece, right? Okay, and do you have the sum? Okay, some of you may be confused here. I'm not too sure whether I have it or not. But actually, if you look at the main question, so later we draw out the model, you'll be, you'll be clearer, okay? And the question's asking for, okay, you realize that I don't have, don't, not quite sure about this, not quite sure about this, and also here is actually not given, and this is also not given. So it looks like there's a lot of things that are not given. But if you try to go on to the next step of drawing the model, it may be clearer. Okay, okay so the last part first before we move on to do solving it, I will do my annotation here, remind myself that the unit is meter, and there's probably a nearer a rounding to do. Okay, give answer to the nearest meter. Okay, so I'm going to draw this out. I have these two these two pieces, okay, that's what's the meaning. These two pieces, one is a longer piece, and then one is a shorter piece. Okay, and it's actually, okay, this is not very accurate. Let me just draw this again. I have a longer piece. Let me use the, the one that's written, drawn on top. I have the longer piece, like the one on top, and it's cut, and I have a shorter piece, okay. of rope and then the shorter piece is like this and then the longer piece is three times as long as the shorter piece so this is the longer and then this is the shorter so in if you look at it i'm using the unitary unitary method okay so originally the whole thing the whole when you join all these pieces together longer and the shorter the two pieces together it should give you 24.6 meters that was that's what it means so in this case, what you can understand is that 
from the model, I can see that this is the unitary method. Okay, and I'm looking for three units. Okay, so actually in total is the longer one is three units, the shorter one is one unit. So in other words, I can have four units is four units of the rope is 24.6 meters. Okay, so the longer piece will be three units. So let me find one unit first. So 24.6. I'm going to use the space here for working. Okay, division or decimal, so you have a decimal point here. Don't forget the decimal point. Okay, I must include the zero to continue with my division. Okay, so one unit is 6.15 meters. At this point, I don't do any rounding yet. I carry on to the next step of finding the longer piece first. So the longer piece is 3 units, so I use 6.15 meters times 3, okay? So 6.15 times 3, do my multiplication of decimals, okay? Don't forget the decimal point, and I've got 18.45, okay? So I have 18.45 meters, that is the answer for the longer piece. Okay, and I need to do rounding because it gives to the nearest meter. So nearest meter will be looking at the ones place. So from here, I have to round to the nearest meter. That will be 18 meters. Okay, so that will be the last step of rounding. And my answer will be here, 18 meters after rounding. Now, alternatively, I can also use the step here. Now that I already found out one unit is 6.15, okay, and I can see that, okay, four units is the total. So this is the total. And the longer is three units. Then actually all I need to do to find was that the longer was four units, that's 24.6 meters, minus 6.15 meters. That is the other method to get to the answer of 18.45 meters and then round to 18 meters. So again, I can always use another method to check. That is given if you are able to have enough time after completing the whole test exam paper to get to the answer. All right, so this is question 41, section C, practice paper for primary 4, 2019. Okay, thank you for watching.